anyway, from uh, disused power stations to concrete 60s tower blocks, we've all got a view on the eyesores that blot our landscapes. But one woman has a very poignant reason why she wanted a local factory razed to the ground. Kings Lynn on Sunday morning as Sarah Griffiths is about to begin the detonation of one of the town's most eye-catching landmarks. This has been a 16 and a half year desire to blow up this building. But this story began much earlier with a factory that provided livelihoods for hundreds of families. For over half a century, Campbell's Tower has dominated the Kings Lynn skyline here in Norfolk. The tower was Campbell's first base outside America, employing hundreds of workers to make the company's famous soups. So Roy, how long did you work here for and what was it like on site? I started in 59 and I finished in 98. All my families worked here. You make friends in a big place like this. I had some brilliant times. I see it built and I never thought I'd see it knocked down. From 2007 onwards, the factory stood empty, and now with the tower just hours from demolition, the whole place is making way for a new shopping and leisure complex. Sarah Griffiths put herself forward to press the demolition button to close a painful chapter in her life. In 1995, her 52-year-old father, Mick Locke, who worked at the site, was involved in a fatal accident. The accident involved him being engulfed in superheated steam. This building is constantly on my mind as I come into contact with it every day. Um, I've been quite irate when I've parked in the traffic and I look at it and I think of what was taken from our family to some people as bricks and mortar. To me, this changed the course of my life and my family. And we was quite a large, close family, and my dad was the centre pin of it. Mm. You're doing it for him tomorrow? I'm certainly doing it for him tomorrow. I've, I've had a little chat with him down the cemetery, and I said, this one's for you. The demolition is almost ready to go ahead. How do you blow up a building like this? Where's the dynamite? The dynamite, the explosives are all stacked at the bottom of each leg, and all the legs have been cut, top and bottom. The explosive takes all these legs out, leaves the back five legs standing, and then she'll fold over. So why is all the brick here on this side? That's is a crash mat. A crash mat? Yeah, so it just cushions the fall. With the tower prepared, Sarah's looking forward to the closure that she's been seeking for 17 years. That feels good. Yeah, for my dad, just topped it off. Oh, it's good to see that Sarah's got the closure she craved for, isn't it?